Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at a classic experiment used to demonstrate the process of osmosis using materials that you probably have at home in your kitchen right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the experiment. Uh, now what we're going to do, what we need, are first some eggs and then we need some vinegar. Uh, now the vinegar is really important for this demonstration because the vinegar is going to be used to break down the shell of the egg. So go ahead and put, uh, put your eggs in a cup add in some vinegar and uh, once you do this you'll actually see evidence of a chemical reaction starting to happen right away. If you look at the edge of the eggs right on the outside edge of the shell you'll actually see this reaction. You can see bubbles forming on the eggshell. Those bubbles are telling you that the reaction has um, kicked into high gear and the eggshell is being broken down. Now the overall process to break down all of the eggshell is going to take some time. So we need to set this up a day in advance, uh, let the um, acid in the vinegar do its work for about 24 hours, leave it overnight, and when you come back the next day, you should see that your eggs look really, really different because their shell has been removed. Um, and let's look at that. We can actually see that I'm able to squeeze this egg because the shell has been removed. Next up, we want to um, run a little experiment here. We're going to place our uh, two eggs into some different environments. One egg is going to be placed into purified water. So this is 100% water that's going in with our egg in a cup. The other egg we want to place into a very different environment that does not have 100% water. So we're going to use syrup which has some water and then quite a bit of sugar. So we can see that the syrup is being added into the egg and um, we want to see what kind of effect will these two different environments have on our egg. So we see here, this is the egg in the water, here's the egg in the syrup. We can actually uh, make some inferences about the density of the two different liquids because the egg is floating in the syrup and sinking in the water. Once again we need to wait 24 hours and then look and see what happens to our eggs. Here's that egg which had been placed into the purified water. You can see it looks nice and plump. Now take a look at the egg that was placed in the syrup overnight. My goodness it looks really really different doesn't it? And this change, this difference, is due to the process of osmosis. I thought it would be fun to dissect the egg so we can cut into the egg that was placed into the purified water. And then I also thought, let's cut into the yolk and just see what that yolk looks like. Uh, again, this was the egg which had been placed overnight in the purified water. We can see that the yolk looks pretty normal. Uh, next up, once I'm done here, we're going to take a look at that egg which had been placed in the syrup overnight. This was really hard to cut into. I was surprised. It was really leathery. I had a hard time cutting into this even with a sharp scalpel. Uh, eventually I did make my way into that egg and then um, I'm going to get the, uh, the yolk out of there. So we're going to see that really soon here. These are major differences that we're seeing in the eggs. It's due to the process of osmosis. I'll be posting another video to explain the science behind uh, all the different steps of this experiment and the re uh, reason why the outcomes turned out the way that they did. Um, you can see the yolk is really hard here. Again, it was really tough to cut into. Um, very, very different consistency from the first egg that we looked at. Um, so this has uh, you know, been a look at, again, that classic experiment looking at the osmosis of water in or out of eggs uh, when those eggs are placed into two different environments. Um, be sure to check out the explanation video. It's available at my YouTube channel. You can also find my materials uh, from my website at wikispaces.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.